We've just touched down on this deserted island right now. We got no food, we got no water, and we got no shelter. You have got to be kidding me. Do we open it up? This might be the perfect, I guess, cross beam for our structure. My mouth is like so dry. It's like the Sahara bloody desert. We're going to try and find some type of food. There's no way I'm going hungry. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alrighty, this is us for the night right now. Woo hoo hoo! Alright, we good to go. I'm jumping off. Let's go. Woo. Pass me my hands here. Yeah. Alrighty, we're making our way to the island. I'll see you boys later. Make sure you come pick me up tomorrow morning this time, okay? Alright, right, see you boys in the morning. <laughs> We've just touched down on this deserted island right now. And you can see the boat behind me. They have left me. Oh! <laughs> This is absolutely psycho, man. Alrighty, I'm gonna drop my stuff off right here, guys. We gotta remember, this is where we got dropped off around this log, because this is where the boys are gonna come pick me up in the morning, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we got on this deserted island right now. We pretty much got absolutely nothing, but let's take a look at this backpack, eh? Let's go. We got a few resources in the backpack right here. Pretty much scat all, guys, I'm not gonna lie. First of all, we got a drone right here. That's not really gonna help me. Next, we just got a GoPro right there. That's not gonna help us at all. And our one and only final item that's literally gonna help us is this mask right here in our hand sphere, man. We're out here alone on this island for the next 24 hours, and all we have is a mask and a hand sphere to survive. We got no food, we got no water, and we got no shelter, and somehow we gotta try find all of those items to stay alive out here for this survival challenge. I reckon what we do is we chuck our few items in our backpack, we start making our way along the coastline and see if there's anything that's washed up or something like that that we can use to help us to survive and stay alive out here for the next 24 hours. Let's go, baby. Woohoo! What I want to start doing is making our way along this deserted island coastline and see if there's anything that's washed up that we can use. This place is actually crazy. Look at this. Massive cowrie shells. All these incredible shells right here. But there's got to be some resources out here that we can use to keep us alive. No way, man. Look at this. We got a bloody coconut to start. Nah, there's nothing inside of that one. Damn it. Oh, I thought we were onto a bloody coconut to begin this challenge. You can see right here, there's kind of like a high tide watermark. And that's what we need to follow. That's where all the debris and everything washes up on this island. Plan of attack right now, guys. I need to find some type of way where we can build a shelter. I want to find liquid. And a little bit later on, I think we can go hunting with this hand spear. Maybe try get a fish or a lobster, stingray, something like that. I don't really know what we're going to be hunting, but we need to get something. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. There's a message in a bottle, man. You have got to be kidding me. I've never found one of these. It has barnacles growing on the bottle. Do we open it up? I've never found a message in a bottle, man. We've got to open it up and see what's inside of this. What the hell? I'm amping. This thing's probably been at sea for, I'm guessing, like, probably a few years, maybe, if it's got barnacles and stuff like that growing on it. As you guys know, I'm in one of the most remote locations in the world right now, so the chance of someone finding this letter in this bottle is slim to none, man, unless maybe a tide drifted it to another island, but... We're in the middle of nowhere in Indonesia, so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to see what message is inside this bottle right now. I might have to break the bottle. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the message out of it. I'll make sure I pick up all the glass when I break it, but I'm going to have to break it. If it breaks, are you kidding me, man? Bro, this thing is so solid. Oh, all right, we broke it right there. I'll make sure I pick up all this glass, guys. Don't worry. Alrighty, I've just collected all the glass right there from the bottle. Make sure I take that off the island, but it is the moment of truth, man. It is time to read this letter. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. I've never found this in my life, man. All right, we've got to read it. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know if I can say this on camera, man. Oh! All right, I'm gonna spell it out to you guys what it says. It says in the ASS. Look, all right, maybe I shouldn't have opened this bottle, man. <laughs> this is actually gonna come in super handy. We can use this to start a fire. So even though it's got the wrong message on it, I'm putting that in the backpack because that's gonna help us to get a fire going a little bit later on. I'm not gonna lie, I can't believe I just found this letter that just says in the ass. All right, I'm just gonna keep walking, guys. Of course that happens to me. Look at these shells that wash up on this beach, man. It is absolutely insane. We got the Adidas hat. 
But let's be honest, guys. Why would I wear this when I can wear my own stuff? These are our new hats. They're coming pretty soon, guys. We're in our final stages. They're going to be available for you guys in the next few weeks. But let's keep exploring. We'll pick up this rubbish. It's not nice to see on the beaches, but there's no way I'm wearing this when I can wear some offshore towels gear. This stuff's made for adventure. Heaps of old coconuts that are washed up, but they're all just super rotten, man. So I don't think we can use any of these. Look, here's another one. I just don't think there's going to be any liquid. Yeah, you can see right there. And a lot of them have just been busted up. We need to try to find a fresh one a little bit later on. Now, in a real life survival situation, guys, this tire would come in super handy, man, because if we got a fire going and we saw someone in the distance, we could actually burn it and that would create black smoke and get their attention. And maybe that could be the thing that rescues us. So even though we know we're getting picked up tomorrow morning, I'm still going to keep this tire in our backpack and maybe it can come in handy for another resource. Oh my goodness, guys, there's no way. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is a Nautilus shell. You guys see that? That is one of the most beautiful Nautilus shells I've ever found in my life, man. That is absolutely beautiful. That is nature's treasure right there. Yeah! Thank you, God. Now, I've spotted something up here in the bushes, guys, that can help us a lot. You can see these things right here. These bad boys are going to help us, guys, to get a fire going a little bit later on, 100%. These things go off like a bloody frog in a sock. So I'm going to grab a whole handful of these. We'll chuck them in the backpack. And that's going to hopefully get a fire going for us later on. We also got that note that has um, uh, that really deep message on it that we can use to burn also. So we'll collect a few of these. <laughs> Alrighty, our backpack is filling up quickly with absolute insane items, guys, that we can use a little bit later on. You can see up here, though, we've got a lot of debris on the beach. I want to make our way up there. There should be some good items that we can use. we got like an old jerry can or something like that. Now that... It's gonna come in handy for sure. That is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna keep that. If it rains a little bit later on, at least we're gonna know we're gonna have somewhere to store some water. Yes! Take a look at this right here, guys. That is a cuttlefish backbone. It's pretty much like the skeleton of a cuttlefish. Once it dies, that just floats through the water and everything like that. You can actually feed these to parrots. And the parrots, when they bite onto it, it's like sandpaper. It sharpens their beak, but that pretty much offers no use for us. We're going to leave it and we're going to keep exploring. All right, that's going to come in super handy if we need to bind some type of structure later on. That right there is an old clamshell, man. And I'm actually going to use this. I'm going to show you guys why a little bit later on. But this thing, this is going to come in super, super handy. Just the item I've been looking for. This bad boy right here. You guys can see that. That is a broken lighter. And for most people, they'd be like, what the hell? What are you going to use that for? But I think we're going to be able to get a fire going hopefully a little bit later on with that bad boy. We're going to start making our way back to camp. I've got to start looking for some type of liquid, man. I'm sweating like a bloody dog in a Chinese restaurant, that's for sure. So let's get back to camp. Let's go. Oh my goodness, guys. There's nothing like being out here on these deserted islands in the middle of Indonesia, man. There's no one around me for hundreds of kilometers all around. Yee -hoo -hoo! This is what we live for, baby. Alrighty, I really need to get out of this sun right now, guys. I'm getting cooked alive out here. I need to start building some type of shelter that we can sleep in, number one for tonight, and also get out of this sun right now. So I think I just spotted something. Look at this. Oh my goodness, please. Woo -hoo -hoo! Looks like there's a little bit of liquid in that. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That thing I'm definitely bringing with us. All right, I'm gonna pull up in this graveyard here of all this wood and I'm gonna get started on a shelter of some sort. That's our plan of attack. What I'm looking for right now in the graveyard is the longest, straightest piece of wood possible. It needs to be quite strong. Like that right there, that is pretty good, but I don't know whether it's gonna be strong enough, but I'll keep it just in case. We'll chuck him just down here. Let's see what else we can find here. That piece right there, that might come in handy. That's pretty long, pretty straight. This might be the perfect, I guess, cross beam for our structure. So I'm gonna take this back to where all of our stuff is. And I think I'll use this bad boy. All right. I'm dropping our piece of wood off right there. Now we need to get going on a hole right here. You can see that's probably the high tide mark. This is probably the king tide mark. So I think right here would be the perfect place to build our shelter. There's no way it's making it over those sand dunes. So we should be safe here. What I'm doing right now is I'm digging out a hole. I want it overhanging that way. So I'm digging on a 45 degree angle back this way. It doesn't need to be that wide, guys. It just needs to be a deep hole. So I'm just gonna keep digging and uh, we'll just keep making this hole bigger and bigger. Why does hole just sound bad? Every single way I say it just sounds bad. You guys know what I mean. We're gonna bury this up. 
You can see that's super solid right there, guys. Now we need to find some more pieces of wood. There's some absolute monster pieces of wood right here. This is gonna make it a lot easier. Let's see if this cross beam's strong enough to hold it. Yeah, she is. Now the whole point behind this is that you wanna start out with the largest pieces. That's gonna offer the most, I guess, stability and shade. And then after that, we start filling in with small pieces of wood, guys. All right, you guys can see our structure is literally going off right now. It looks so sick. It's not done yet, but we found this rope a little bit earlier. Now, what I want to do is I want to use this to make our shelter safe. As you guys can see, there's a lot of heavy wood resting against that one cross beam. And if all of that falls on me, I'm going to be in big trouble, guys. So what I'm going to do, the two widest bits at the front here, guys, they're the anchoring points. What I want to do is I want to dig a hole on either side. And then from the top here, I want to bind it off to that top center structure. And that is going to make it super strong. And I guess offer some type of security in case this thing falls on me. This is going to be one of our widest points. Get rid of it. We'll dig out another hole here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to get that bit. We're going to put it into that hole and across our structure. We'll fill in this hole here. Make sure that's super solid right now. You can see that is rock solid right there. They ain't going anywhere. This is going to be our bed for tonight. <laughs> this is so sick, man. Driftwood shelter, baby. Yee -hee -hee. All right, I'm taking a moment. I'm resting. I'm chilling out. Oh, this is what I needed, man. All right, I'm cracking open that coconut. Let's do it. I don't even have anything to pop open this coconut with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this and I'm just going to bang it right there. And hopefully I can split the end of it and then I can start, I guess, ripping it off. There we go. There we go. That's what I needed. You guys can see, I'm slowly just gonna rip these pieces off right now. I don't know how sweet this liquid is gonna be, but man, I just need any type of liquid right now. I'm so thirsty, guys. Once you split the fibers, it gets a little bit easier. You just gotta start to get it open and then you can really just start to rip it off. You can see, it all just comes off in these pieces. All right, I'm getting close now. Getting super close. All right, you guys can see we have peeled this coconut right now. Now, quick little trick, guys. Obviously, I do not want to smack this coconut and have it split open. So you guys can see, we've got the three little, I guess, eyes, mouth, whatever you want to call it, face. We'll call it a face. Now, I've got a sharp twig right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this twig and I'm just going to feed it into one of, this right, one of those eyes right now. And that's actually a super shallow point right there. And if I keep going with this, I should hopefully make my way down and get right into, I guess, where I can just drink it out like a nice cup and it's not going everywhere. Because the last thing I want to do is crack this open and I get absolutely no juice out of it. So I think we've just about reached the juice. Yeah, we have. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh. <sighs> Besides the splinters in my mouth, the sand, and the coconut husk, that's absolutely beautiful. And I can drink it just like a drink bottle. This is literally the fruits of our labor right now. Fresh coconut in this shelter that we built. Now, I don't want to drink it all, guys, because I've got to save some for a little bit later on. So, it's probably about half left in there still. I'm going to have like one or two more sips. Right, I'm just taking a moment in this shade right now to just cool down because I'm sweating like a gypsy with a mortgage, man. Right now, we've got shelter. We've got some type of liquid. I'm going to wait about five, ten minutes and then I'm grabbing that spear and we're getting out in that water and we'll see if we can get some food for a little bit later on, man. Alrighty, guys, we've got our jerry can right here. I'm going to show you how we can use this to collect some water. So I'm going to chuck it right here. What I want to do is I want to go up here I want to find a bottle. This one looks just about perfect. You can see right there, 
heaps of plastic bottles that wash up here in Indonesia. So now all we got is this big old jerry can right here. We got a bottle and we got this piece of wood. Now obviously I don't have a knife, I don't have anything that can help me to, I guess, split this open right now. So what I want to do is I want to open it. Let's get all that gross water out of it. And you can see this piece of wood right here, it's actually got like these blades on it. You can see right there, they're like knives. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this and I'm just going to use it just like a knife. And you can see right there, it works absolutely perfectly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this bad boy and we're going to make sure that that is nice and clean. And we're going to get this jerry can, we'll put it right here. We'll put that straight in there. Now what's going to happen is as it rains, the water's going to go in here. It's going to fill and it's going to filter straight into our jerry can. And that right there is a sure bet that we fill up this jerry can very, very quick and we have drinkable water on this island. I'm getting rid of our hat right now. I'm grabbing our hand spear baby and we're going to find some type of food. Let's get out there, eh? Let's go. Woohoo! Alrighty, let's get out there, baby. We've got a hand spear and muff. That's it, we got no fins. We gotta try find some type of food. There's no way I'm going hungry. Oh my goodness guys, that was absolutely insane out there man. And let me tell you, 
We're eating good tonight, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, take a look at this right here, guys. This is a beautiful goatfish or a red mullet. That's what they call them. These ones don't actually grow that big, guys. So that's a really nice sized fish. And this is just what we call a little blue line snapper, guys. It's just a small one, but look, I was taking everything I could out there. It was extremely hard hunting with only this hand spear and no fins, but we got food on deck, baby. It's time to get a fire going and set up for the night ahead. Yeah! Words cannot even describe how happy I am right now, guys. We've got food and that's all that matters. Now I want to see if I can get a fire going. I've got no steel and flint. I've got no lighter. I've got no ways to start a fire. Let's go grab a whole heap of wood right now and kindling. Because what we need to do is if we can get a spark going, we need to have that right there that we can put on it and feed it. And that's going to keep it going. There's endless amounts of wood right here. So I'm just going to grab all this. I'll make sure I grab as much dry stuff as possible. Let's grab that. That's some nice medium sized pieces of wood. I'll drop them off. All right, let's get some larger stuff. We've got a bit of larger stuff. We've got some medium stuff right there. I want to find some really fine pieces of wood right now, like this. This is perfect. You see that? It's exactly what we want. All these little pieces right here. Two for the light, dry, thin pieces right here. All right, I'm going to go up into the bushes right now, see if we can find some more kindling. We've got a little bit in the backpack right there, but I want to get a little bit more. All of this is perfect. I roll our hands through this, all of that dry grass, that will go off. Let's get a whole bunch of this. All right, make sure there's no green stuff in there. That is all just perfect kindling. All right, we got kindling right here. We got small pieces, we got large pieces, and we're gonna get a fire going on this, I reckon. I'm gonna show you how we can get a fire going with this empty lighter right here. We've got a coconut and we've got our piece of paper from earlier on. Now, what I wanna do, guys, is I wanna grab this coconut and I wanna put our piece of paper straight in that right there. And this is obviously to just get out of that wind right there. I'm just gonna create a bowl and that's just gonna just sit right in there, just like so. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna use this lighter and I just wanna scrape it just like so. Now, as I'm turning this, guys, and not igniting it, it's actually gonna drop dust onto this piece of paper right here. And that dust is hopefully gonna allow us to get a fire going. Now, I wanna try to give it like two minutes of scraping and collect as much of this dust as possible. You can see it all just building up right there. It's actually like a farrow rod, that's what it is. So that's what allows it to get that spark right there. So I'm just scraping it and I'm just trying to do as many turns as possible. And that dust, that is what's flammable and that's what's gonna allow this to take off. So I'm gonna spark it up and let's see if she goes. There we go, there we go, there we go. We got it, we got it, we got it. We got it, yes! We got it, all right, let's get this coconut husk on. Look at this guys, we got the fire going, yes. Come on, come on, come on. Woo -hoo -hoo! We just pretty much used that farrow rod, guys, and we collected that dust, and I got it sparked. And then you can see it just took off. And from there, I was, I was able to get it onto a kindling pole. And then I'm using all of this husk that I used from the coconut that I found earlier. Oh, I'm so happy to get this going. Woo! We're just gonna make sure that it doesn't burn down our bloody hut. All right, you guys can see our fire is going super hard. We got our TP right there. I've kind of separated, so hopefully our TP doesn't catch on fire right now. But we got to get to cleaning up these fish. So I'm going to take these fish down to the water's edge. All righty, guys. I've just gone and gave our fish a little bit of a wash off right there. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to use this right here. This is a piece of wood, guys, except it's super sharp. Now, what I want to do is I want to find right where the anal hole is. And I want to actually use this piece. And I want to see if I can cut into that anal cavity. Oh, yeah. Working a treat, man. Look at that. It's worked just like a knife. You can see right there. Look at that. We'll split it open just like so. And I'm gonna grab all those guts out. We don't want any of those. Also the gills, we'll get rid of all that. And you can see that is completely clean. We'll give that a little bit of a wash. This one's super small. We can probably just do it with our hands, to be honest. Let's give them a quick little wash off. Alrighty, and we got two fish right there that are completely gutted and cleaned perfectly. Now guys, all you can do if you want to get rid of the head is you just give it a twist, just like so. We don't really need the head, we'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of this head also on this one. Twist them, rip the head off. These are the clamshells that I collected a little bit earlier on the beach, guys. And what I want to do is I want to put our fish right inside these clamshells, just like so. And I'm going to use this one and I'm going to close it up, just like that. And hopefully, that should act as like an oven, man. 
and like steam our fish. I just want to find a nice coal base. Look at that. That is so good, man. All right. That is rearing hot. What I want to do, I'll put that straight on. And hopefully that should just cook away nice and slow. I've never done that before. A fish cooked inside a clamshell. That is going to be sick, man. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It has been one bloody hard day today. Building this shelter, going for walks along the beach, diving out there with that meal. That is going to make it all worth it, man. Probably got about an hour left until sunset. Looks like the weather's kind of on and off. There's a few little tropical storms all around me, but they seem to just be missing me. I wouldn't mind one coming through, but as long as it just doesn't stay around into the night time, that's all that matters. But it's going to wait for that clamshell to just steam away our fish. That is going to be so good. You can just see it slowly cooking away right there, guys. Take a look at it. I cannot believe that piece of paper that we found earlier was actually the thing that got our fire going. Now look at it, guys. We've got our campsite, we've got our fire cooking. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you to whoever left that piece of paper, but man, you need to change your language. I don't know why that had that on that piece of paper, and I don't know why you even put in that much effort to write that on the piece of paper to chuck it in that bottle. Like, what the hell? Oh. There's our meal right there. Let's set up right here. Alrighty, the moment has come, baby. We got our coconut, we got our fish right here, and we got this beautiful shell, man. I'm just gonna be carrying that thing around with me wherever I go. But take a look at that fish. It has been steamed to perfection. I'm gonna give it a shot, hey. Let's see how she goes down. All right, let's give this goat fish a try. Look at that, it's literally just falling off the bone. Do you see that? We'll take it straight off the skeleton. There's the skin right there. We don't want any of that. That right there, that is our meal. That is absolutely incredible, man. These goat fish are gonna be one of the best eating fish in the ocean. You literally cannot get better than that. Look at that, beautiful white meat. I'm giving that a solid nine out of 10. All right, let's give this little blue line snapper a go. This one's got a lot more of like a subtle flavor. Still really good. I think the MVP 100% goes to the goat fish or the red mullet. They gotta be one of the best eating fish in the ocean for their size. Oh my goodness, man. I would bloody serve that to the queen, as you guys know. Yeah. <laughs> that clamshell passed with flying colors. <laughs> that's all that's left. The skeleton and the skin, look at that. I needed that meal in me. That's giving me some second wind, baby. Woo! All right, we gotta go get prepped for the night ahead. We probably only got about half an hour left to light. And then we got to get ready for the freaking long night. This is what we live for right now, guys. We got that campsite right behind me. We got the fire cooking away. And I'm just taking everything in right now, guys. I'm being grateful for every single moment. Gratitude. That's what it's about. Enjoy the present moment because you do not know when it's taken, man. This has been one wild journey, guys. And I love bringing you along in these wild adventures. We are so close to 1 million. Please show your support. Like and subscribe. Go do it at the end of this video, guys. Go watch videos. Go share it with your friends. You guys are changing my life by doing that. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much. This is literally what we live for, man. Nature's telephone, baby. If you put your ear in it, you can hear the ocean. But the ocean's right there, so I don't need to do it. But I take it home with me, and it'll remind me of this place that I am, and how grateful I was for this moment. I love it how there's just no one out here. You just feel so alive. No people, no noise, just me, you, and nature. Exactly how I like it. There goes the last of that sun, baby. Woo hoo hoo. So beautiful, man. I'm really happy right now, guys. It looks like we got clear skies, so the stars should be out tonight in full force. And uh, I cannot wait to just have my head out in nature's window, looking at all the stars pass by. It is gonna be so sick. Alrighty, this is us for the night right now. I'm just chilling out. It's actually so comfy in here, I'm not gonna lie. The ultimate campsite. We got the fire cooking away right there. How good. Alrighty guys, it's gotta be about nine or 10 at night right now. I'm just chilling out. This sand is going absolutely everywhere, but I still think I'm gonna get a few hours sleep. It's not too bad, but I'm tucking myself in. My nice blanket in the sand right now. And uh, I'll see you guys early tomorrow morning. <laughs> Alrighty guys, it's got to be about 7, 7.30 in the morning right now. It's got to be close to pick up time. I got dropped off around 8 yesterday, so it's got to be about half an hour to go. I'm just sitting here at our drop off point, man. 
I cannot wait to be picked up. I'm so salty and sandy and dehydrated right now. I need to get off this island. My mouth is like so dry. It's like the Sahara bloody desert. Oh. Oh, no way. I can see a man. I can see a boat. Yes. All right. We're grabbing our pack, baby. Oh, I hope this is the boys and not some random fishing vessel. Nah, they're coming towards me. Yes. I think we're getting picked up, baby. There's a boat out there on the horizon. You can see. This has been one of the hardest 24 hours of my life. I'm jumping up on the boat. Oh. <laughs> We're getting out of here, baby. We have done it 24 hours with only our hand spear on this beautiful remote island here in Indonesia. I'll see you guys on the next wild adventure. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Shoo!